to my channel. So if you love bags and luxury goods, then hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to bug you almost every single day, hit the little bell so you're notified because I do live vlogs as well. All right, so tonight's video is a reveal for you guys. Now, let me chat with you just for a moment here. So I just got back from my Chicago birthday trip, all right? And I have a bunch of packages um, that I need to unbox and show you guys everything I got. I'm gonna do a couple different videos of kind of group everything together with brands and colors and stuff so it's not just kind of all over the place. So those, there's gonna be several different videos and tonight I wanted to start with my Dooney and Burke and my Florentine Dooney and Burke black bags that I purchased. So I'm still waiting actually for five more bags from the Dooney and Burke summer sale that they had. They have not arrived yet. They're supposed to be here a little bit later this week. So I am going to wait to do another Dooney and Burke video for you guys as well. I believe there's going to be two or three Dooney and Burke videos I think that I'm going to do. Um, and tonight's the very first one of that. And then of course I have Longchamp as well for my Chicago trip and Gucci <laughs> too. So I got a little bit of everything I love. All right, now let's get started. Two of these bags I'm going to show you are from the summer sale. One of the bags is my birthday bag from Judy and Burke. And then the third bag is actually from the outlets in uh, Las Vegas. And a fellow YouTuber and friend of mine actually gave me the heads up about this particular bag. And I immediately called and got it. All right. I want to start with my birthday bag that I picked up over the weekend because it's gorgeous. I actually went into Judy and Burke not planning on buying this bag. Not at all. I actually had two bags on hold for me that I was planning on buying, but I decided against those bags because I'm sticking with what I love most, and that's the Dooney Burke Florentine. And this bag happened to be sitting on the shelf, staring at me, and it was just gorgeous. So I'm going to show you it right now. This is beautiful. This is the most even textured, smoothest Florentine bag I have ever seen. It is, I hope it's coming off on camera as beautiful it does in person. Um, you know, there's a little bit of glare and stuff from the lights that I have, but hopefully you can really get a good idea. This is so smooth, and it's smooth everywhere. Just look at this. I hope it's coming off good too. It's so smooth. It's like the perfect Dooney bag. I'm not even kidding. And the bottom as well. So you were getting a lot of glare, so you don't really get to see what I'm seeing because it's such a deep saturated black color. It is just gorgeous. That's, I mean, I, I don't have any other words for it. It's just so beautiful. I love this bag. And like I said, it was just sitting there. I went into the store with no intentions of buying another satchel like this, but this is what I ended up buying. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like some residue, glue residue or whatever. I'll get that off. So, yeah, you guys know what the satchels look like. The retail on these is $3.98, and I got pretty much half off um, this bag because of the outlet discount plus my birthday bag discount as well. So I love this bag. I'm so happy I picked it up in black. I just think it's absolutely beautiful and stunning, and I love it. I love it. I can't wait to use it. I'm probably going to use it tomorrow, actually. So... I think the gold hardware, the brushed gold, just really pops with this bag. It's just stunning. I love, I'm obsessed with that. Don't you love it? Oh my goodness. I, this is just so amazing. I hope this is giving you guys a good angle because I can't really see very well. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So let me set this down. Sorry if I'm shaking that thing. Okay, this other bag here is the one that a fellow YouTuber shared with me that they had at the Las Vegas outlets. And this is the Florentine Buckley bag in all black. So it's black, black. It's got the black handles on it and everything like that. It came directly from the Dooney & Burke, um, I guess, warehouse or whatever from the, from the outlets that they have, which is really cool. I actually wanted this bag and I actually don't think I really mentioned it very much, but I was looking at it and I happened to get an email from a fellow YouTuber. So thank you. Um, 
for sharing this information with me because I really love this bag. And something just happened with the camera that was weird. I don't know. Anyway, this is a beautiful buckley bag. Now, it's not as smooth as the, the satchel I just showed you, but it still looks pretty good. It's, um, it's pretty smooth. On the back part, my only complaint really right here is this side is more pebbly than that side. But I don't know if you're really going to be able to tell on camera that well. But other than that, it really is in great shape. I think the bottom looks really good too. Yeah, the bottom looks really nice actually. So I'm super excited to add this to my collection because I love that it has the top handles as well as the over the shoulder strap that you can adjust. And I'm not really a big huge fan of the tassels. But it's funny because this has tassels on it and so does the medium one, but for some reason in the black black, it doesn't really stand out as much I think, and that's why I like it better. So there we are, the Buckley, and these retail for $3.98 as well, and I got half off, of this. this is half off, this is 50% off, which is really cool because I have not been able to find one of these at like a decent price anywhere, so. I was really lucky to score one, so I'm super thankful for that. And the inside, of course, you guys know what that looks like with the green suede and then the red lining. And I need to take off the handles and stuff like that, but I'll do that later. I just took off the wrapping on everything to make this a little bit quicker to do this video because I know it takes a while. So I know it cinches up, like, here, let me just take this out for a moment. And you just pull the thing and it like, you know, it gets tight, <laughs> like that. Right, you can do it more, but there's so much stuffing inside that I think it's looking kind of funny. But there we go, the Florentine Buckley bag. And you know what's funny? I don't have any Florentine black bags except for now, and now I have four of them. <laughs> no, wait a minute, just kidding, I forgot. I have the Clayton in black, so I have five. I have five black Florentine bags now. I don't know how I forgot about that bag. Anyway, okay, the next bag is this little guy here, and this is the mini Amelia, yeah, small Amelia tote. Now, you know, what's funny about this bag is I have this. I thought the one that I had was the small one, but it's not. This is the small one. So I'm gonna do another video for you guys to compare the two sizes of the regular size Amelia tote and then the small Amelia tote as well. Cause that's what they call it. They call it, this should really be called like the mini. And I think the one I have should be called the small. Cause this is really tiny. This is like super, super tiny. It's a big difference between, I'm looking over at, at on the shelving over there, but it's a huge difference in sizing. So I'm gonna do that video for you guys to help compare in case you're looking at this because I think they have four different ones if I'm not mistaken. They have the regular size which I have, the small here, then they have a large that has the, they all have the um, the, the long strap here except for the one that's more of a north-south tote with the longer top handles like that. It's more of just a shoulder bag as opposed to the other ones where they're more east-west and they all have a really long shoulder strap. Or cross, I actually will wear this crossbody. So when I unboxed this, and well, when I took it out of the box, the box was huge, by the way, and everything was wrapped really tight, which was nice. So I un kind of wrapped everything to make this video just a little bit quicker, because you know how long it takes to get everything undone. But anyway, I didn't completely undo it all, so let's do that. But here this is. I think that it looks pretty smooth, and it's pretty evenly textured, I would say. It's got the cute feet on the bottom, too. I love that. But it looks really good. I'm pretty impressed. Let me take this off. So we don't need that. So you can get a better look here. Let's see if I can... Um, okay, it won't go. There's too much stuffing inside of it. But there's a little bit better of an idea. You know what? Let's just take it out. I just want to take it out. Okay, let me undo this strap stuff here. So there's the long strap, of course, which is a joke. You can take that, the center piece off here. So you can actually take off this whole piece. That whole piece can go bye-bye. And then you can just have this if you wanted to. So you can hold it like this. You can hold that top handle. Or my preference, I'm gonna be holding it uh, cross body. 
So that's what I'm going to do with it. Oh, did I tell you what the price was of these? Two seventy eight for the small ones, and they're not on sale anymore. But I'm glad I got this at the at the summer sale. Let me take some of the stuffing out so I can show you what it looks like closed. Of course, it's got a zillion silica packets in here, which is good. <laughs> okay, let's see if this will work. Yep. Okay. There we go. That's what it looks like now. So you can see it locked. And it locks and unlocks really easily, but it's totally stuffed. There's still stuffing up to here in there. Tightly, tightly stuffed. Okay, so the Amelia tote in small. All right, there we go. Now let's move on to the last one that I have to share with you guys, which I'm super happy about this too. And this is the Mallory crossbody, the small Mallory crossbody. And this is also in the black black. I really love this and I am so, the reason I got this honestly, this, there's like fuzzy, this strap, it's because of the strap. I'm a huge fan of these thicker like cotton straps like that and it, it's really thin so this is a great run of the grocery store bag where you can like, you know, put your coupons or whatever in the front pocket here and then it's got a nice zipper pocket at the top there. I prefer this over the triple zip ones. I think it's too many zippers. So I really, really like the style of this one with the one slip pocket and then the one zip pocket. And I think there's even pockets inside. So I'll show you guys that in a minute too. But this looks pretty good as well. I think it's pretty smooth. It's pretty even on this one. There's some stripe edge going on in the back, I think, but that's okay. I'm not really that concerned about it. But the black with the black and the brass um, brushed gold brass hardware is beautiful. I love that. So let me show you, because this is all like the front here. It's all leather lined. Can you see that? It's got the tan lining. And that's all the black lining down in there. So let's open it up. Let's see if my phone can fit in there, actually. Let's try that. Well. There's a lot of stuffing in it, but it can fit like that. If you wanted it to, that would work. And the ends, yeah, the inside's all lined. Um, there's a slip pocket, it looks like. Okay, so the inside, you know what, I'm just gonna take this out, hold on. Oh, they have that dumb key keeper in there. Stoop, this is ridiculous. We don't need a key keeper. Look how little this bag is. <laughs> we don't, we don't need this, Peter. We don't need this intestinal worm key keeper in these tiny little bags. It's just, I, if we can't find our keys in a little bag like this, then there's some, you shouldn't be driving. Okay, in the inside there's this one slip pocket right there and it has the green suede. I love this lining, That I just prefer that. Take that little paper out. So it has the one, this is just gonna get in the way. I almost wanna cut it off because <laughs> it's really unnecessary. <laughs> Anyway, and my phone can fit in there just like that and zip it up too. So let's, it's got a nice smooth zip to it. All right, so there's the Mallory. And that concludes my Dooney and Burke Florentine black bags that I have purchased. So let's review it one more time. So I got the Mallory right here and the Amelia right here during the Dooney Burke summer clearance event, whatever it was, it was going on. So I got really good prices on both of these. I think I, they're pretty much both half off from what I can remember. So yeah, they're back up to regular price now. So maybe something for Labor Day will come around and I would definitely snatch these up for sure because I really am loving them even though I haven't worn them yet. <laughs> so there's these two. And then, the gorgeous satchel, medium satchel. And then the Buckley bag that I was able to get to. So there we go. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reveal. And if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, I'm gonna probably go do another video for you guys. <laughs> Maybe do the comparison video because I wanna see it for myself. So. 
maybe I'll just do it um, right now and do it on camera. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll talk to you later. So until next time, you guys keep it tight. Bye.